What is a good bait to fish in eight to 12 foot of water right now? Because there's a lot of bass right now in, in the south, right here in southern Oklahoma in eight to 12 foot of water. Good morning, guys and girls. Proverbs 22.1. Proverbs 22, 22.1. I'm reading from my Catch a Better Life book. Uh, a good name is to be chosen rather than great riches. A good name is to be chosen rather than great riches. Would you rather be rich and be called a scoundrel? Or would you rather be a man of integrity, a good man or woman, and not have riches? A lot of times it's your choice. A lot of times it's your choice. Here's what I wrote about that. My buddy Wally Marshall, Mr. Crappie, is the best I know at naming fishing lures. I mean, he's fantastic at naming fishing lures. Crappie Thunder, Slab Daddy, Slabalicious, and many others. I named the Turbo Tail, which was a huge seller and a tremendous fish catcher. Of course, names don't catch fish. Names don't catch fish. The fish don't have any money. They can't get hooked up on that name. Catchy names catch fishermen. That's why we name those things great names, catch fishermen. We talk a lot about naming lures. We talk a lot about it. The writer of Proverbs said that a good name is about the most important thing that you can own. He emphasized it's better than great riches. I recently had an opportunity to endorse a product and the money was good. Uh, not only was the money good, I, uh, uh, I got a percentage of all the sales that the company made. And, uh, but the product was one that left, it left some doubts in my mind and I saw some situations and a couple of my friends pointed out a couple situations where endorsing that particular product could end up being detrimental. And I just couldn't do that. I just couldn't do that. Um, and I didn't. And uh, I turned down the money, turned down a percentage of sales, and the sales were going to be huge. There's absolutely no doubt about it. Because I certainly don't want to run my name. I want to protect my name. I want to protect my name. How do we get a good name? How do we get a good name in the first place? How do people call you men and women of integrity? How do people call you honest people, good people? Well, we could start out with God's Ten Commandments. That's a great way to start. No lying, no cheating, no coveting, no adultery, no stealing, no killing, so forth. You know them all. We might want to cut out hatred also, jealousy. How about envy, drunkenness, and so forth. Plenty of them out there. Can we actually do all of this? Can we actually stop doing that if we're doing some of those? Can we keep from doing them if we're not? Can I tell you? We can. We can. Once God puts His Holy Spirit inside of us, we can quit doing any of those sins that I just read out. Those are the sins that keep us from being men and women of integrity, men and women with a good name, a good name. God puts his Holy Spirit in us the moment we ask God to save us. The moment we ask God to save us, he puts his Holy Spirit right inside. Today, let's make the names that we do own even better. Let's do the things that makes the names we do own even better. Oh, I love it today. I love that today. Here's our tip for today. Slow rolling a one half ounce Jimmy Houston Legend spinnerbait in eight to 12 foot of water is dynamite right now. How dynamite is it right now? I caught a six pounder doing that just a couple of days ago. <laughs> That's how dynamite it is right now. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. You make the day, the day doesn't make you. You make the circumstances good, bad circumstances don't make you bad. And remember, I surely love you.